it's still kind of loud, I'll put the microphone closer to me so you can hear me. Okay. Oh! <laughs> That's cool, what the fuck? happening oh no oh shit what the fuck shake with a nose to look down with is that better savannah find another way see what you'll find is even though you're no longer in your body your body is still inside of you if that makes any sense no so if you it understand doesn't. what i'm saying yes um, blink over my hand here Ooh, well look at that you're a blinking genius <laughs> uh, I knew you were special. I am. You see all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? <gasps> I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? Notion? No, better word than that. Ah. Is he a cat? A premonition. Souls worth pulling up. Okay. Now you see that tower out there? No. Big scary. Yes, I do. That's where I'm taking you. That seems malicious. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stern. Now she's impressed. You're kind of scaring me. Bitcoin, and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. She ain't. Okay. Well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you. Well, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. Okay. I am not Shut a good storyteller, so. Trash. You had your it wasn't my fault. You were no good. Oh, are these old, like, souls? Oh, is he a dog? That's- this is weird. Uh... Okay. Sorry you had to hear that. It's a little weird. Thanks for apologizing. Are you so sure? Maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I wanna see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So uh not much. Just think <laughs> back to the very beginning. Oh god. First thing that you can remember. I'm gonna send you there. You're putting me on the spot. Well, understand. Dog. No matter how cat looking like thing. It, you're not gonna be able to stay. Well that's right? stupid. Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. It could be a second. I'm gonna could be five rest years. my eyes. I don't wanna that's just how this thing works. I don't wanna do that. Okay, fine. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink I'm gonna send you back. Don't be afraid. I don't want to hear him talk anymore. Try to enjoy it this time. Okay. Look at that sun. You 
we've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? You must really like it out here, huh? Mm -hmm. I think this is like the beginning, so like you're supposed to blink when it comes up just to... Is this her mom? Let's go get you some seashells. What do you say? Hey. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm supposed to. You see that big spiky plant over there? That's called an agave. A lettuce leaf. Oop. Day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well. Days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Where's the first page of my piece? Oh shit! Fuck. Hey, go ahead, kid. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. Now we're gonna really get something. See how he grows? Benny, one year Man, old. The zoom on this thing is fantastic. So that is our mom. Can I play? I'm sure you'll be better than me soon enough. This is really so cute. I want to play the piano. Oh shit. This is so cute. What the hell? Sounds good, honey. I'm sending it to my mentor next week. Put a shirt on, Dad. Come here, boat. Yeah! Like the music. Hit it. That's very specific. Hit it. Ah! Also like the person playing it. Yeah. Is he gonna talk to us? Talk to us, Dad. Shit, I didn't mean to blink. Look at his little face. I know, it's pretty cute. How weird I feel right now. Where are you? Probably solving the problems of the universe. Is this boats of Oh, oh, it's supposed to be like a cloud. That's cute. So Okay. No, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you can tell the other members of Are we obsessed with boats? Damn, we're an artist. Okay, I, I understand. We're getting our memories. Oh, she didn't get it. it really Sorry, mom. That sucks. You just stepped on me. Oh, Rude. That's sure a little mess of color. It is. What? No, don't. Hey, we do not throw things in this house. Uh, we if do. You... Oh, I didn't want to hear her talking to me. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Oh, what? <gasps> oh. See? That used to be my piano. I thought that was this. My dad gave it to me. He loved music. Fled his home country just to have a chance to pursue it. That's cute. God. He made me practice so much. I hated it at first. No! Okay, Benny. Are you ready to see something really special? I just don't want him to get attached. Is it a dog? Richard. How am I not supposed to? the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. What's wrong with that? We can't keep him. Can we? I mean, I'm pretty much definitely allergic. So no. Oh, I'm not. No! 
Shut up. This is so cute. I never want to blink again. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Pet the kitty. Pet the kitty. There you go. Doesn't that make you feel happy? Like you just want to jump up and down? <gasps> Shut up. This cat is so cute. Oh my god. Brianna, it's church. Roger, Brianna, it's church. Just a different color. Shut up. I don't want to skip. What? I can't hear anything. Can you guys hear it? Well, that's good if you can hear it. <laughs> I can hear it now. She's allergic. We're going to have to get rid of the cat. And I don't want... We're not getting rid of the cat, bitch. This is our cat. Oh. No, I don't want to skip forward. I want to pet the kitty. Can we pet the cat? I'm not blinking. Fine. She's in grad school studying composition. I never met anyone like her. I just prayed to God I could somehow keep up. I think she liked that I was a professor. Gave me a certain gravitas in her eyes, you know, which I very quickly lost. God, she dragged me to so many places. It's wonderful. It's cute. Where would you want to go? You can only go to one. Greece! Oh my god! I was gonna say Greece. Well, just remember to put on sunscreen. <laughs> that that's where we're going for our honeymoon. No! Where Gan and I are going for our honeymoon. That's crazy. <gasps> are we old now? We're gonna play the real piano. Cute. I don't know how to play. Wait, is that? That's my face. How did you figure out how to play that? Richard, are you hearing this? What? He's playing my piece. Wait, am I just playing this? <laughs> he must have figured it out by ear. I mean, I was a gifted kid, but he's brilliant. We need to get him into serious piano lessons. Sure. You know, That's... anyone who might be a good teacher for him? This is definitely not how that works. Okay, sure, not out here, I don't. I mean, I know someone who might be up to the task. Kitty. My dogs are being menaces. Oh god, I have my interview in five minutes and I completely forgot to feed him. Don't worry, I already did. For a moment I forgot what a great father you are. Focus on the interview, honey. I got this. Get it, church. Get it, church! So mom is looking for a job. We have the cutest kitty. They will literally be on your desk when you get in. <gasps> Shut up, they're big now. We are Oh my god, we're getting better at art. <gasps> oh you shit! Oh. When's he coming? I'm flying him out in February, remember? You know, I think he was pretty surprised that I could actually afford to do that. Hey, why not? You're a working woman now. I guess that's true. Don't let it go to your head, but yeah. Why, st why can't we... Please let the cat know it's time to use the litter box, though. Baby steps. He's got one eye. He's got one eye. That's hilarious. This is called uh -uh. a metronome. We use it to measure time so we don't get lost in the music. I want you to start using it before Grandpa comes to visit. You know, my father once told me, when I was about your age, the only way to fight against time is to create a work of genius, which might live on after you're gone. So I asked him, what about your children? Thinking, I might be a work of genius, just as I was. 
be said. Yes, I suppose. If you made a work of genius, pay a hundred has to go on through that as well. <laughs> no such excuse. I haven't seen him in over ten years. Can Why? You no, I can't. Why I haven't you seen your dad? I didn't blink, bitch! Ugh. Oh no. This has to be bad news, right? Shut fuck. You really need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? Subdivide the time. 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e and a 1e and a 2e and a 3e and a 4e. You're off. You're off, Ben. You can't hear that? Don't be fucking mean, Mom. Shit. There you go, buddy. Okay, now keep a firm grip on it. Just like that. Oh, my. Well, don't think you like that, pal. Sorry, buddy. Turn around, L. So we can photograph you. I'm just really behind right now. Why don't you take photos in the backyard? It may not be interesting at first, but... Mom, you're kind of pissing me off, I won't lie. You'll be surprised by how much it changes. Is the dad gonna be dead? I don't know. But the mom is annoying me. She's being really rude. But I guess Ernie, she's got a lot going on. Buddy. Ernie! Ernie! Ernie, we need you! Is that our cat? So you're saying it's a coincidence that it disappears for weeks and then comes back with a huge belly? But Ernie's a boy. And you're sure about that? Our cat's preggers. Uh-huh. I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. I don't know. I didn't think about it. It just, it just happened. Wait, just why are you- To find a stray cat in the alley. We keep it even though I hate cats. And now it just happens to pop out five more. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you hated cats. For a professor of signs and symbols, you're really bad at reading them. Okay, that that's funny. That's really witty. I let us keep him for Benny. And I'm happy about that. I really can't have five cats around the house. It's just not sustainable. Yeah, you know, I, I get it, but why are you yelling at the dad? Like, how is it his fault, you know? Put them outside or something. What? No! He keeps coloring the grass blue. Can you able to pick up the new book? Yes. The regalium is a particular... No, I meant Benny's book. Oh, yeah. Benny is Benny, right? What's going on? This seems eerie. We're walking forward. Okay, hold on. I'm not gonna blink. Yes, I am. Sorry. I know. It seems impossible that you could ever play something so complex, but just take it one day at a time. Trust me. You're really getting there, honey. Next week, we'll start working on your other hand. Richard, I've been listing him in that competition. I th Fuck. The quiz said find the zero, and he just drew an arrow pointing to it. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? I mean, everything is wrong with that. I want that box full by the time I come in there. If you don't play with it anymore, we're getting rid of it. Congratulations, B. First of May. Shit. My eyes are getting dry. Oh, we have a new neighbor? Fall back, you fool! I'll have your head. Beat them to the cat. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Come over here! Yes, Mr. Camera Boy, I'm talking to you. This is gonna be our wife. 
Why are we walking so slow? This is weird. Why are you always out here taking photos? Because you like you know, photography. You if you really want to take a photo of something cool, you should take a photo of this. Chloe! Fucking... Quiet, everyone. Thank Just because my fan is on. He's unbelievable. My god, I didn't realize our head of accounting was raising a musical prodigy. Didn't you used to be a composer yourself, Elle? No, I don't know if I'd say that. But you used to write your own music, right? Yeah, but I haven't done that in years. Not since he was four or five years old. And, and what do you do, Richard? He's a professor. Of what? Well, no one really knows. No, I mean, what's his field? Uh, it's maritime archaeology. No one really knows what it means. Mm, unknown legend. <laughs> it's kind of one of those professions that stops the dinner party short. Oh. Yeah. Okay, more wine? I'll have a little more wine, please. Yeah, sure. Anything interesting happen? The class is world history. My name is Mr. Isaac. The class will be broken up in... Hey, you. Look on your desk. I wrote you something. Ah! This is a quote. I want each of you to write it down. Not doodle on the sidelines. Not stare off into space. Stop staring at me, okay. creepy. Now I will go on to the next slide. Chloe, tell me. What this is our wife. Say? Um, right, I definitely know this. You were. So those who do not remember the past, repeat the past. That's right, right? Indeed it is. Though I'd prefer you to answer without the help of your boyfriend next time. <laughs> if you broke we my new talking rule, but I asked you to. So, I guess I'll have to learn with it. I tried to convince your father not to buy you that thing, but he insisted. Half suspect he bought it for himself. The little guys are pretty cute, though. I will admit that. Oh, I want the job of whoever gets paid. Shit. Definitely seen you next door, but I didn't realize you guys could become friends. Oh, sure. We sit together in history class. I don't know what I'd do without old Benny. Very sweet. Thank you for playing this game with him. Your dad just thank me for hanging out with you? <laughs> That's a very interesting detail. That's hilarious. Okay, shut I up, like shut her. Up, shut up. I really want this one. Maybe I'll use tickle stick. I think that we want to be an artist, but our mom's going to make us be a pianist. What are we doing? Oh, sorry. So yeah. An hour away in a town called Burton. I know the chance can be scary, but I just want you to go in and meet the dean I spoke with. You know, life can take you to some incredible places if you're really, really good at something. I've had so much trouble making friends at Blanco. I want you at a place where people really get you. Yeah, I don't think you get us, Mom. Like, I don't think you under- I think we want to be an artist, but... So what do you think, Benjamin? You think you could excel in that sort of an environment? This guy looks evil. Sorry, he gets very shy. Oh, not to worry. If he's as gifted as you say he is, shyness is no problem. Why don't you two come back closer to the end of the year for an audition? We'll get a few pieces that you can have him start learning. I'm eager to hear what your son is capable of. Hmm. So, I understand you were a musician yourself. As 
as you my can see, headphones there are, some very are cutting out in there and a lot of stuff I've not taught you properly that's yet. so no pressure I just want you to try and we can see if you start enjoying it just like to see you really rise to the occasion just this once I wish I had the option of going to a school like that when I was your age I wouldn't be I think our mom is trying job, to live through us this boring town I'll tell you that yeah, we didn't. Was that, was that the piece? What is going on with you these days? I You're trying to live through me, mom. Me. Yeah, I didn't. I don't want to. That's spit. Yeah, I don't think we want to be a pianist. Answer that, Ben. You can talk to your friend after you practice. Yeah, our mom is definitely trying to live through us, so. I don't think we want to play piano anymore. She's trying to make it like. She wants us. She wants to be us. Oh my god. Is she really calling you again? What, is she obsessed with you? What are you doing? I explicitly asked you not to pick up the phone. Oh, he's fine. Let me talk to her. Oh, what do you know about anything that's going on right now? Okay, you know, I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't raise your voice like that. Well, then don't stick your nose into things that you're completely checked out of. Okay. Oh, man, did I just cause a fight with your parents? I'm sorry, dude, but you should also cherish your woman. My mom and dad used to fight, and I would always hate it, but... Now I actually miss it a lot. Anyway, so basically across the board. Holy shit. Our I mom is like, this I don't know. In the presence of my aunt, who you remember is the goddess of truth and justice, <gasps> would oh. weigh the deceased the soul fighting. against a feather, determining whether it was worthy of entering into her land of the dead. And what if they are deemed unworthy? Well, you can see that ugly fur ball hey, under the scale. Mr. Kid. Over here. That's and yes, look that's at she, it. The head of a crocodile, fur of a lion. See. Tonight after my dad goes to sleep, I'm going to sneak out of my house and sleep on the beach if you want to get invited. Well, Draw me a picture of Mr. Face. I see feeling constipated. Now, as you can see, she <laughs> is ready to devour. Ew, why is he so scared looking? Okay, I'll call you when I'm leaving my house. You better pick up my call. This is our wife! Slightly worried about having him change schools just as he's starting to make friends. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only reason she keeps coming here is to play that game you bought for him. Okay, listen. I don't claim to understand the motives of children. Richard! Benny has a chance here. A real chance to be really good at something. I mean, this is no offense at all. But I don't think you actually really understand what that is. Oh. Shit. They're gonna get divorced. Lights out. You need to be rested for How tomorrow. about you go to bed? It consolidates when you're asleep. So if you go to sleep now, you will awaken a master. Trust me. I don't like our mom. Richard, how you fun to turn the lights off? Benny, mom says turn the lights off. Not mom says, you say. She's so, like... Yeah. Wow, didn't think you'd actually pick up. I'm a chicky for a baby. I apologize. Okay, so meet me out in the alley. You know, I'm really glad you're here. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. Oh, she likes us. Uh, uh, or to get off my chest. Okay. I don't think Conksters is actually a really good game. My cousin Yoon, he was in town this weekend, 
and he was explaining how it's actually a ripoff of a really good Japanese game. He calls it a cash grab. So I'm sorry that I made you like it because it's actually a terrible game. But I also think that if it was a really good game, maybe we wouldn't have enjoyed playing it as much. We would have been so focused on how good it was and not the feelings we had while we were playing it. Like, my favorite vegetable is a tomato, but Yoon thinks that they're the grossest ever. And you're probably the least popular boy in the school, but I also like hanging out with you the most. Which was also something I wanted to talk to you about. I like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird because after what happened with my mom, I never liked hanging out with anyone. So this has been a big surprise for me this year in a lot of ways. I think I like that you let me talk. My cousin never lets me talk. My dad does, but I can tell he's not really listening. Cute. Ugh. Probably didn't sleep at all. Out in the cold all hey, night. Hey, what's up, Robo? You're already feeling sick, aren't you? It's okay, you still got this. I mean, all the practice had to count for something. Maybe oh. just try and close your eyes now and get a little sleep on the way over. I'm going to play the recording so the sound of mastery can seep into your subconscious a little, okay? Close your eyes, Ben. Jesus. Not much is playing In your the game own time, about Benjamin, blinking. We are very excited to hear. I think that's enough. So, Benjamin, uh, why don't we plan on having you come back next year again, once you've had a bit more time to practice, yes? As you know, Burton isn't the right fit for every student, and I wish you the best of luck on your path. Wherever Maybe I pushed you too hard. Yeah. Maybe I turned into my own father. Yeah. You, you have did. to find something to focus on. The world isn't very kind to people who aren't really good at something. That's not true, but you have problems, lady. Oh. I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who you're going to become. Well, if you keep pushing us, lady, it, we're not going to become much. We're going to hate you. From school for a while, just until this nasty thing clears. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? There's a small clerical thing I need you to look at before I can let you two go. Oh, yes, of course. I didn't even blink. It's a crucial time in his development. I couldn't be confined to his room. Yeah. Having him home for all means I can spend more time with him. You know? We can focus him. Make sure he's staying engaged. Can you please try to speak a little softer? Mm -hmm. I think we might have uh, something going on with us, man. I didn't blink. This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. What do you want us to do? That's what I never understood. Like, I'm homesick from school. I mean, like, literally, though, what do you want me to do? I'm not gonna study. We're gonna draw. I told you guys! Draw something 
else. Yeah, we want to be an artist. I told you. Mr. Cal. No. I told you. Ah. <laughs> well, I knew it. All he does is make art. What about his piano? And Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. Yeah, we did. Look at our boat. Here to learn to be painters, you are here to learn to be artists. And although I've decided to teach you, it is a that, that's not where that's supposed to go. I kind of like there it though. No the skull is art. just on that. Very wacky and fun these are. <laughs> oh, I like that one. <laughs> it's very zany. Holy very shit, this is cute. awesome. I love this. Okay, nude man. Lucky for you, the world is always in need of more greeting card Dude, artists. Dude, this is hilarious. <gasps> Rude. There you okay. go, Mr. Brin. Feel each shape. Huh. Okay. Cool. I'm not mad at it. That's kind of cool. Shit, we're an artist. I want you all to take a long look at what Mr. Brin has done here. What have I done? You see, he has reached down deep within himself yeah, and created a masterpiece. It's pretty cool. Ray, you have a strong hold on yourself, Mr. Brin. This is sweet. I knew we were going to be an artist. I'm stunned. The ironic sincerity of this piece is so sincerely ironic. He split the discourse so thoroughly, I'm actually dizzy. I know that lots of agents gave you lots of cards. And it all probably feels weird and alienating and the opposite of what being a starving artist is supposed to feel like. But if I can teach you one thing, it's that if opportunity knocks, you open the door. Making a living isn't selling out. I wish I had thought of it that way. Is this her apology to us? Benjamin, marvelous show last week. Truly stunning. I've never been prouder. And one little thing. It... Don't worry. You're not selling your soul. <laughs> well, look at that. You've crumpled my contract. Can I throw it at you? <laughs> to being a difficult artist, the best of us are. Yeah, we're not selling out, baby. Ah, this is divine. So, now that you've grown your wings, tell me, young master, where will you fly? I don't know. May I suggest somewhere abroad? Greece! This American air can be... I want to go to Greece. This game was meant for me. Oh my god, we're in Greece. I bet you're happy you threw that contract in her face now. You didn't sell out, and you still got rich. <laughs> oh, but listen to me, Benjamin. Now is the single most important moment in your entire career. Collectors, curators, how we all love a rising star, and how bored we become. 
I made that. Rising. I made that. That's enough from me. Now, you'll hear from the person who I believe was the single thing in the world my wife was most proud of. Oh no. Her. Magnum opus, so to speak. Huh. I think you all know who I'm talking about. Benny? Guys. Ready to come up here? Oh, our mom died. I'm glad I didn't throw the paper at her. That's so sad. Oh man. Go on, B. Say something. I can't. Our mom just died. Oh. What's wrong? Well, Why? she stressed us out, so. Hey, you. As you know, I talk to big, very important people. Every day. And there's one thing that- Shit! My eyes. You are a snake. You're a fraud. But worst of all, Benjamin, you're a little tease. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is a genius. I have told the world that Benjamin Brain is silent. Hey, B. Just calling to tell you. I think I'm still in the house. She's everywhere here, son. I can't move without bumping into her. And then I just find myself breaking down again. I hope you understand. That's so sad. Shut up. Take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> ah, I'm just so glad you got to speak to her one last time. I mean, I know she told you not to pick up the phone, <laughs> but, well, I'm just so happy that you did. Should we keep it? She just wanted you to focus on your work. That was the only thing that mattered to her. What's that? What's so fascinating, son? I'm okay. not gonna cry right now. See her in the paint. <gasps> Ooh. Is that is that really you? It it's Chloe, your neighbor. My God, I can't believe this. It's been years. I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. I'd love to walk through it again with you. I mean, if you were down. I'm telling you, that. we're gonna get married. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano from next door. Hey, so not to be forward, but uh, what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? Yes. 
I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. No way! Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. This guy evil? <laughs> you finally hit the jackpot, Flapjack. With all the nobody nothings dying every day, you finally sink your hook into a... Whoa! Well, there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I realized, I would have cleaned up. I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists, a couple college athletes here or there, but whew, an internationally renowned painter? <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna I feel like eat this guy you doesn't, up. it's kind of evil. Hey, speaking of that, why don't we give your story a though. test run? Maybe you help me out with the word choice, since, you know, I'm still working on that. Let's see if I'm getting all the strokes right, the proper. Composition, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Forget about it. All right, here we go. Gatekeeper, before you stands the soul of a great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a happy kid or a lonely one? His childhood was a lonely one, growing up as a strange, quiet child in an isolated seaside town. I mean, yeah. And, uh, what would you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? His mother was a composer who, with the you need the to boat? support her family, oh, we are. took a job yeah. as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Uh, kind of like your champion or... Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was over demanding, yeah. forcing him to practice day in and day out, hoping that he might one day achieve that greatness that she never could. Sorry, Mom. And how about that neighbor girl? What was she to you? Was she your best friend? No. Or your first love? First love! But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball, staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. Are we not? What's going on? Now, from that moment forward, his mother gave up on him. Oh. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. Oh, shit. Sure. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium. Right? Yes. See, when he was 12 years old, he got sick. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. She says. In that year, he rediscovered a talent he'd forgotten painting. Sure, he loved finger painting as a child. Color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious life. He was accepted into an exclusive art school. I wonder what the ending... caught the eye of an esteemed professor who launched his work into the national spotlight. Now be quiet, all of you. With expectations on his career mounting, he stalled himself into bankruptcy, which turned out to be a blessing. I feel like this it wasn't guy's... until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said, shut up, you, you scum dolls, you mucky fowls. I'm very confused. Alright! I get it! I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I had assumed as much. 
bridge anyway. I should probably tell you, those things, they're not regular gulls. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. I figured. And once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. I get to feeling bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Oh, yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. Hmm. Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. Well, we didn't lie, I don't think. Well, as far as I know. This is uncomfortable. I'm... I'm uncomfortable. Bit and sap. You know that? Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Me? You brought me here! What do you mean? Uh... Now don't think that I haven't dealt with people like you. What? You're ashamed of something. Something so terrible, you're trying to blink right past it. Because if the gatekeeper knew, she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you. Whoa! And I'm sure you're right. I'm sure you're the rottenest soul that I ever fished out of that black muck. And I should have thrown you back and sanitized my paw as soon as I laid eyes on you. What do we do? But it's too late for that. We're in this together. And the gatekeeper, she'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. But we're not lying. So I'm gonna ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. I thought we did, I thought. Not this. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Come on, keep blinking. I, I I haven't found it yet. There you go. You know, my father once told me when I was a... This. Stay here. What did your mother hear on that phone call? Oh. Keep your eyes open. I need to see. Sorry. My eyes are getting dry, though. My eyes! Shit! Let's try this again. I'm sorry! You stress me out, guy. My fan is pushing air into my eyes. Oh, I can blink. I'm getting it. I think our grandpa died. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure he died, and we just, I accidentally skipped over it. <gasps> oh. Oh, what is See, she knew she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Let's keep going. Need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? You were a eternally indebted. What did you just say? This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need you. To... Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep going. I'm still not understanding how you let this happen. I don't know. I also didn't get to this either. Is that blood? What? What is that red shit?
That better not be a dog eating our cat. I don't want to watch that. Keep your eyes open. I can hear the dog growling. That's blood. Shut up. I don't <laughs> No. The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. Oh my god! Simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work to That's make yourself sensational. Listen to him, Richard. Shut up, that's clearly that so sad. I like hanging out with you a lot, which is weird. I'm not worried about who you are, Benny. I'm worried about who. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Oh, my dogs are barking. Make sure you staying engaged. See, I also didn't mean to skip this part either, but I did. I mean, what's the point? What do you mean? What's the point? What does that mean? What's the point of any of it? If he's never going to get any better. Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. What are they talking I know about? I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something? Sorry. One of us saying something like that. I'd never forgive myself. I'd... It's okay. He's asleep. No, we're not. It's okay. What's, what are they talking about? Can I open? What'd they just... I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon. At the top of your lungs. Did die. Yeah, those bitches killed my cat. <laughs> but what were our parents talking about? They were talking shit about us? You were sick for a long time, weren't you? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get? I don't know. Yeah, I got it. Well, no matter how painful it gets. I need you to remember. We're almost at. Can you shut the door, Gan? This isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Well, we missed Try this part. with it. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but. I used it in college to write lyric. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. Made him think I was some kind of genius. Why don't you write the story of your life so far? And then what you're going to do once you get better. That's a story I want to hear. But what were we sick with?
I knew that, though. Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball. Staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. First love? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night. But I'm also glad we didn't because, well, another night wouldn't be the same night. If that... <laughs> You are going to be in there for about 30 minutes, so yep. try to get comfortable. Do we get cancer or something? I'm assuming we got cancer. Oh man, I hate these things. You're doing great, buddy. Uh, yeah. Stay a little longer, okay? Knock, knock. You're gonna be so annoyed with me, but... I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading aloud from what I think was your story the other night. I know, I know, I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. Oh. Can I, okay. I wanted to let her read it. Just go in there and tell me you loved it. I'm sorry, I just can't. Right now. Okay, don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk to you. She can't tell us hey, she loves B. us? Just want you to know that mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up a strange and quiet child isolated seaside town. I mean, I'm certainly bummed you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where did you learn to write so well? All those cool words! It reads like Dickens! Oh. Because that's literally so sad. Shut up. So, if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand. It hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been... Uh, it's been a rough one. Fuck. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, 
I understand you have a business to run. It's a very <laughs> cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay. Well, well, then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said, I think screw she, you too. I think she was just, I think she lost her job. Yeah, man, that's all I got. But also, there's like, like leaves that you can take for work, so she shouldn't have lost her job. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I happen to actually know about this stuff. So the fact that you are faking just so you don't have to go to school with me is actually ridiculous. I don't know if you're embarrassed about- Okay, bitch. I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. I mean, not as tough as now, but yeah, her music had been rejected. And she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here. And I feared that I was losing her. What's up? What's up? But welcome, then welcome. You played this on the piano. Just your little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. This is so and once she heard sad. that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So. What's up, stars? I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. Okay. Can I open? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait, is that? That's my piece. How did you figure out how to play that? start crying <laughs> I'm gonna start crying again keep playing B she's listening dude we're like a child I can't do that <laughs> We're a kid, dude. I don't want to watch this. This is so sad. Oh my god! <laughs> what are you doing now? It's gonna make you sick. Oh, it's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. She's been through more than we can even imagine. Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? Get her sashimi. I can't drink right now. My phone is... hasn't been over. Like, she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're and you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with- okay, Do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. Twenty nine missed calls. Oh. oh, my God, you're an idiot. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um, I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day how I reacted to it. I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't have done that. But... Hey! 
What are you looking at? Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. I want to give you something. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your eyes now, okay? Restitution. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't. I. I should have closed my eyes. Oh my god, are we gonna die? Yeah. I can handle this. He's just a kid. He's just a kid. I can't breathe. I know. I know. It, it's okay, Benny. I understand. There's no need to show me anymore. No. You know, for a while now. I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. Oh, he died as a kid. But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Uh, I know just what to tell her. Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. Oh, Believe me. I should go get ready. I bet you it's our mom. Don't worry. We got this. I think. supposed to be doing She's ready to hear your story. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. It's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was, well, I didn't like him very much. So, I wanted to read you something I wrote for you, which is about the Benny I've known for 11 years now. It's called The Great Life of Benjamin Brin. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary home to an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So, when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then, when he was just 11 years old, he got sick. 
and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story of the great life he thought he wanted to live. Which only made him forget the great life he already had. How he had filled a new home with light. Boy and promise. How he met a girl. His neighbor, who felt all alone in the world, and he made her feel oak. And how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. Shut up! So how he reminded them of exactly who they were after they had almost forgotten. So when he was... knew he was going to go, he was okay. Because he'd already lived a great life. <laughs> a full life. And he was everything he needed to be. Just as he was. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> She accepts. Close your eyes now and keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna let you in. Go on. Why is he smiling like that? You know what to do. He must be somewhere that he likes. Guys. emotionally prepared for that and I don't want to just sit here and cry but I, <laughs> but I think I may need to just sit here and cry I also need to like emotionally just take that all in because that was so sad <laughs> okay cool peace thanks for watching <laughs>